The next question in the name of um, Deputy Catherine Connolly, you have 30 seconds to introduce. Galway City has 4,720 households on the waiting list and rising. Um, that's about 10 to 15,000 people. As I speak, 29 families and 79 children are homeless. 18 other families are at risk of homeless and 20 people are sleeping rough. Please, my question is very specific. What houses were built? What houses are going to be built? And uh, the, I'm not going to waste the 30 seconds. It's written down. Okay, Deputy, uh, Deputy Ing uh, Minister Ingers, you're taking this. Well, yeah, just, say, the Deputy Kong, just to give you some of the figures, then, the development of, no, of new social housing in Galway City is in the first instance a matter of the local authority, and but it's certainly something that, the, that, that we're taking very seriously about the department. I mean, Minister Kobe's been on there at least three or four times already in the last couple of months, and that's the whole idea of the whole uh, process behind the, the rebuilding Ireland is to work with local authorities to drive the change in this area as well. Since 2011, there have been 84 social housing units acquired by Galway City Council uh, or approved housing bodies in their area. This includes two in 2011. 22 in 2012, 56 in 2015, and four up to the end of June 2016, with additional units expected by the end of 2016. In the period, 15 new social housing units were completed in an unfinished uh, development at Court Routine and were taken over by Clwyd earlier this year. Galway City Council has also secured 261 through long-term leasing arrangements, including 50 new units on the Tuit at Ballyburk uh, through the NAMA Special Purpose Vehicle, which is the National Asset Residential Property Service, otherwise known as NAPS. A target of 518 social housing units over the period 2015 to 2017, supported by a funding allocation of 28.3 million allocation, was notified by our department to Galway City Council in April 2015 to be invested in a combination of building, buying and leasing schemes. Following this, the construction of a total of 69 new social houses at Ballymoine Road were approved and I am advised that the first phase of 14 units is expected to go on site next month for completion in 2017. I am also advised that phase 2 of this project, which will deliver 55 units, will start on site in 2017. A further 19 new units were also due on site in 2017 across three approved housing bodies. Uh, sorry, three approved housing body projects, uh, while in July last, uh, Minister Comey announced the delivery of 73 new units at Ballyburk as part of the second bundle of the Social Housing Public-Private Partnership Programme. Thank you. Funding has, also, uh, I'll speed up. Uh, funding has also been approved by my department under the Capital Advanced Leasing Facility for the acquisition by three approved housing bodies of 69 units in Galway City. Delivery is, is contingent on approved housing bodies securing the balance of funding required, but if successful, 39 units are expected to be delivered by the end of this year, 2016, a further 27 in 2017 and three in early 2018. In the context of the increased targets in rebuilding Ireland, the Deputy can be assured that, that our department will continue to work with Galway City Council to increase and accelerate social housing delivery in Galway City. Lovely. One minute. I, Minister, I don't think you heard what I said. I asked you what you were going to do. The local authority produced plans every single year and no funding was made available. I share Deputy Bide Barrett's frustration with your type of replies. I want to welcome any positive news. I want to be crystal clear. No, not one single social housing unit has been built in Galway. Not one. Since 2009, that's why we have between 10 and 15,000 people on a waiting list since 2002 going forward. You've given me approved bodies, you've given me different leasing schemes, and of the 14 that you're talking about, they're still not built, and that's simply because of lack of money, that's what I'm told. If I'm wrong, correct me. In relation to the bigger scheme, I understand that the Department of the Environment stopped that scheme and sent the Council back to get more units on site, despite the fact that the Council had given approval. I'll stick to the time limits. Thank you late. very much, Deputy, for your cooperation. I appreciate it. One a minute, Minister. Deputy to answer the question you've actually written down and asked, which is for the detailed figures. But well, I'm, okay. I'm not going to argue, argue with you over the figures. You can check. Yeah, I went through the figures there with you. Okay. But just to be very clear, you've, you've asked here about what are we going to do and what's the issue in relation. Is there an issue with funding? It's clearly not an issue with funding anymore. Okay, and we made this very clear to all local authorities. We're in a position to work with them on any projects across all the various initiatives that are there. We'll work with them to tailor the needs to each county. I have a, myself, Minister Coburn, are trying to visit every local authority as quickly as we can to meet with them, meet with their officials, meet with their uh, electoral representatives to, to make it clear the funding is there across the different schemes and, and, and they can be 
adapted to suit their own needs, because a few of the new schemes announced today that would suit Galway County Council very much in relation to the, the buy and repair initiative, and they're working with, with proposals on that. So there's a lot of opportunity there. The housing budget is 1.3 billion extra. It's up by 50%. The year after, it's a, there's a major increase as well. So Thank the you, funding Mayor. is there, and the capacity of people, both in our department and every local authority now, can be put in place to deliver this and to spend this money. So there's no, there, there won't be an excuse. And hopefully, because you're right, the figures you outlined there, they're not acceptable, the waiting list. We, we understand that. And we're all determined to, to, to drive those figures down Thank by providing you, solutions, which we will do across many initiatives here. Thank you, Minister. One final minute. Uh, Thank you for the positive news. That's the first thing. Thank you for expressing your outrage that the list is too long. I appreciate that candour. Thirdly, my question was very specific. The number of houses that were constructed by the City Council year after year, and many are going to be constructed. Can you please tell me, am I correct that not one single new house will be constructed at the end of this this year by the City Council, and before we see any new City House built directly by the City Council will be next year, and that will be 14 units for the first time since 2009. And can you please tell me, are you meeting with them on a regular basis to up that figures to deal with the housing crisis? Thank you, Deputy. One final our, our department and ourselves as ministers are in touch with them on, on a weekly basis, not a daily basis at this stage, every local authority, because that's the whole idea of having an action plan. It's to drive the change. We recognise that the funding and, the, and the, the, the both financial resources and human resources weren't out there over the last number of years to drive this kind of change that we need. But Galway, County, Galway City Council are in a position now to really up their numbers. And they were asked under the previous targets to reach a target of 518 by 2017 in, in, across a range of schemes. That was their choice which ones to, to suit their needs. And they're doing that, and they're well on target. And again, we've told them the last couple, last couple of weeks that any houses they can acquire for the end of this year to do that. And every local authority has been instructed the same. So spend the money to acquire houses. It's not the easiest solution in Galway. They did avail of that over the last couple of years, but I know, I know the pressure on the number of houses there at the moment. But there's a range of schemes there, and they've approached this very well through a, a range of issues. It's not just in the, in the last couple of years, it wasn't just build houses, it was acquire, it was leased through a whole range of issues, but they're on target. But, but those targets now will be increased because there's increased funding, and, and rightly so. Thank you very much, Minister. Thank you.